Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about my first week experience of learning Python and what I think of um, courses on online overall and self-teaching yourself, you know, programming um, as a beginner as well. So if you're a beginner then this video is perfect for you if you're a bit stuck on what, where to go and what to learn because I remember like it was like a couple of weeks ago or now a month ago actually um, I was a bit stuck on where to actually like learn um, because there's a lot of like courses online. There's there's tons of courses. You can literally learn to learn Python any any way you want. There's YouTube. There's um, there's documentation of Python, which I highly recommend people should actually read um, while they're learning a course or something. Because I find it hard to actually like stick with the documentation. You have to have a lot of discipline or or like a love for reading that amount of like text, when, even when it's like a bit short. Sometimes when I check the text, like a for loop with like like two lines and explains it, I was like, ah, oh, so this is why it is. So some of the documentation does like act like it's a, a type of reference, but it's good to like skim over and be like, oh, what am I gonna learn in this course? And that's why I did. Um, but just some like quick info about me. Um, I did computer science around so it was when I was fifteen, so two years ago now, and I did it for. Uh, my GCC and I did terrible in it. I got a bad grade. Even though I've loved computers my whole entire life, I've, I've been a super tech savvy person. I love programming, I love coding, I love um, learning about the fundamentals of computer, how they work, all that stuff. But the only thing, the only reason that, um, I mean, I wouldn't say the only reason, obviously, but the reason that I wasn't too um, good at it in when I did computer science was because I was a bit ignorant and because since I had that mentality, oh yeah, I know I know it all and stuff. I never really asked the question, the teacher for like uh, help or any support, and that that really like made me feel miserably. And I would say that I only got stuck on like some pretty basic things. So right now they seem basic to me, but at the time they were pretty hard. Like for loops were a bit difficult for me to like understand. Um, it was just something like that, that I didn't really understand um, much more things, but overall wasn't that big wasn't that good um okay so let's get into it so the course i actually started learning right now is a course by dr angelo Yu on udemy um i bought the course for 13 pounds obviously on a udemy sale because their their website is always on sale you get a course for like nine percent or eight percent depending on what country you're from and the course is 60 pounds uh but i bought for 13 obviously um i would say that it's worth it if you're really interested in going to programming. Cause I found myself like finding these depths or like these bad times where I don't understand something. And sometimes we're like, oh, I'm not right for this. Or, but if you have that sort of passion and you understand that this is just like the beginning. And after this, when you like make that sort of like breakthrough moment or after like always practicing and stuff, you're gonna get better. And you understand that some of these problems aren't hard. Literally, code, programming is just problem solving. You know, it doesn't matter what language you use. The only reason I'm learning in Python is because I just did Python in computer science. So I, I don't want to like um, learn Java or all the begin from the beginning or C plus plus or any other programming language. I did want to learn JavaScript because um, before I actually did all of this like three months ago, I was trying to do web development. I learned on free code camp with HTML CSS. I do have a basic understanding of both of them now. Um, I even uh, I even switched my website from a, uh, a website builder to static HTML and CSS. But I would say that um, even if you're a complete beginner, then this course is good for you. It's hundred percent worth it. Um, it does teach you how to like um, do your own googling, doing your own learning. Obviously, you're still teaching yourself. But if you're trying to face a problem, then you have to do some debugging, doing some googling around Stack Overflow. The first thing I remember getting stuck on was 100% if else statements. I was a bit stuck on how to actually indent something. So um, let's say I have a variable inside an if else statement, then I would try and print out outside of that block and it wouldn't like find it. It would be like, where's this variable? Where's the variable at? So that's why I got a bit stuck on it. It even took me hours to even fix it. So that's why I get annoyed at. So sometimes I'll make like, I'll write code in like, oh, 30 minutes and then I'll debug it for like an hours. Well, um, so that's something that happens a lot. So if you're a beginner and you feel like this happens to you a lot, don't get discouraged. Literally experienced programmers, even the really like complex, like top of the line programmers. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that don't get discouraged. Um, don't feel like you're bad at it at all. It happens to the best of us. 
Um, what's that happening? No, no code runs perfectly. And if it does, then congratulations, you know, you did something well. But don't feel like um, everything has to be perfect. Everything's going to be wrong. Literally, everything's going to be dirty. Every, your first of a code, you're going to write your draft or whatever it is. It's going to be messy. It's going to be ugly. And then after a while, when you get the actual core of the actual, like what you're trying to get, then yeah, you could add all the bells and whistles you want. And also another thing that I got a bit stuck on were while loops or loops in general. Um, I got a bit um, distracted about, I mean, I got a bit like, um, I had this thing going on be like, oh, what's the point of using the while loop and a for loop? So I, I basically had a moment where I feel like, well, what's the difference between them? Then I realized what the difference were actually, actually was. So a while loops for if a condition is true, then do that, blah, blah, blah. If not, uh, whatever. But for loops or for like, for every single character in this letter, do this, etc. So it's, it's, it's different. I realized that um, after doing a project. But the only thing I'll say that was a bit like annoying about the course was the, like the sense that every single project was a sort of repetitive game sort of thing. I understand that most of the things I want to be learning can be applied in the game. But I want to get a sort of like feeling of, oh yeah, I'm doing that to something that's going to benefit me. But the way that you learn through games is good as well. So don't get me wrong. It's just why I think of it. So if, if you're happy with learning it uh, through games, you, it's fine, it's a perfect course for you. Um, oh, and another thing um, in the beginning, she teaches on REPL just so you could like fork the copies easily. Um, I don't have any problem with that, it's fine. I actually like REPL, REPL is a really good like online ID. Anyone that has you know, if you don't have the best computer, then it's really nice that they've made such a thing. It's great technology, but you know, after 14 days, I'm pretty sure when you get into the intermediate section. You selling out the ID, which is nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's nothing wrong with learning repo at the beginning. But it's kind of it'll be nice, you know, to have everything set up in the beginning. Um, I don't really care about wasting time, you know, setting things up. But it's still a nice thing. Anyways, so even though sometimes I might get burnt out, the thing that really got me back on track or got me like moving again was doing different like sort of like courses or reading other things or doing exercises. So um, coding exercises, not actual gym workouts. I'll, I'll still do that. But what I'm trying to say is that if you feel like you're getting stuck, so this works for me, but it might work for you as well. If you feel like, you know, um, you haven't seen any, anything like this before. Um, I would say that do some sort of like exercise on Code Wars. Code Wars is a bit, I would say, uh, ad like advanced as well. So even for a beginner, um, I found like some of the um, like questions they're asking or prompts they're trying to get you to do are a bit like difficult for a beginner. But it is nice to like introduce yourself to something that that's outside of your course, you know, step outside of your comfort zone in that isn't in your course. Like when I was doing a rep play, I was doing a rep play all the time, but I got so used to it, but you know, I'm still developing my website. So I have to use VS code. The website's not the best right now, but it's going to get in better condition. Um, and also I did a course on um, like computational thinking and how to think like a programmer. It was by MIT for free um, on EDX. So, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I like the course. I like learning about you know how do computers work or how do you solve an algorithm, but or how does a computer solve an algorithm by give it or anything like that. So I found it interesting and it gave me like a sort of like boost or like a, a like a lift or um, got me got my mind thinking a bit more because it does have some sort of exercises like you have to like write some exercises of what you just learned in the video, um, but they're fun. I, li I like to do that type of stuff. So if you're interested in like learning about how a computer works. Um, I'll link it below just in case anyone wants to do it. Um, but I'll, that's what I would say for this video. That's it pretty much. I mean, it was my first video. I'm, I'm just going to post it. Um, if you have any feedback to give, I just want to give my overall thoughts. Let me know. Um, so if you want to like contact me or if you need any support, let me know on Twitter. Uh, you can DM me. I'll link it below if you want to do so. Um, but yeah, if you made it this far, then I don't know what to say, but thank you. And if you enjoyed, you might as well subscribe or leave a like or anything like that. You can even leave a dislike if you want. But... Take care and I'll see you in the next video, maybe. 